Hey guys, so today we are going to take a look at Kat Von D's holiday palette for this year. It's the fetish palette and this is what the unicurtain looks like. It's nice and glossy and the details are all embossed and this is what the back of the unicurtain looks like. This is what it looks like. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is faux leather because Kat Von D is cruelty free and vegan and all of this detail is actually stitched onto the palette and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So this is what the back of the palette looks like and when you open her up here's that mirror and you can see all of the shadows right there. They look beautiful. I'm so drawn to this and this so we might have to use those shadows today. Okay, so as per usual, I have gone in with my e.l.f. Mad For Matte eyeshadow palette with this shade for my brows, and I used my Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel to set them in place. I have my eyes primed with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand number 20, so let's get started. I have absolutely no clue what I want to do with this palette, so I think I'm going to do swatches first, and then I'll be right back, I'll, and I'll show you. Okay, so here are all of the shades swatched. Safe Word, Dominatrix, Bondage, Naughty, s and Stiletto, Rubber, Fixation, Cuffs, Le Petit Mort, Submission, Shibari, Corset, Latex, Obsession, Chastity, Rope, Sex, Divi, Whip, Suspension, Kink, Blindfold, and Nylon. Okay, so I have my first complaint. The palette stays like this. It won't go underneath. But if you don't care about that, then that's not a downside. <laughs> so, sorry about this awkward dry spot right there so if things are patchy right there that's why so first I'm going to go in with my Morphe M441 right there and I'm going to go into Le Petit more I'm gonna take that into my crease I don't really know exactly what I'm going for with this eye look but we're just gonna wing it Okay, so next on this random Morphe brush that doesn't have a number, it's just this really nice fluffy brush, I'm going to take the shade Sex and I'm going to buff out this green even more. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this crease blending brush from Vanity Planet and I'm going to take the shade Obsession, that dark navy blue, and I'm going to deepen up the outer corner. And if you need to go back with the brush that had Le Petit more on it and further blend it out. Next I'm going to take my finger into the shade Shibari and just put that all over my lid. Not me. I'm angry. I'm 
Although I absolutely love this green shade, I do want to try out as many of the colors as I possibly can in this look. So I'm going to go in with this concealer brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to take the shade Submissive. And I'm going to pop that on the middle of the eye. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Whip on this e.l.f. small angled brush and I'm going to smudge that up against my eyelashes. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of concealer, bronzer, and highlight, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 20 again, where I normally highlight and set it with Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then I went in with my Physician Formula Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronzer, and lastly, for highlighter, I went in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in Gold Lava and it looks like this and I haven't seen anyone talking about this online and I don't understand why because this is beautiful. You can see it on like my inner corner and like everywhere and highlighting spots on my upper lip. It is so beautiful and I think this would be a universally flattering shade. But it is limited edition so if you want it you need to get it like now. Off camera, I'm just doing everything that I did on top of the eye except for underneath. Okay so now that all of the eyeshadow is on I'm going to put on my Kush mascara that I got as a sample with my rewards. I need a mirror for this. <laughs> okay, so I added some Ardell Demi Wispies for my lip. I'm going in with the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Glaze. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and check out my Facebook page. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye guys.